Welcome back to GTA Gamer. This video will help you install add-on vehicles for the 5M single player mode. Learning this process takes time, but watch this video carefully, and I will make it super easy for you. Let's begin the process. First you need to download the archive fix tool. The link for this tool is provided in the description below. Inside the archive fix folder, you will find the archive fix tool and some keys extracted from the game. The tool uses these keys to modify the RPF files. Download any add-on vehicle you would like to install. For the tutorial purpose, I'm using the Audi R8 car. Download using the link provided. Extract the car files to your desktop. Open the files. Go to the add-on folder. R820 is the spawn name of your car. Most of the time, the author of a mod will specify the spawn name, either in the readme provided, or in the description of the mod. Now open the R820 folder. You will find a dlc.rpf file. This is the only file you will need further. Create a new folder on your desktop and name it R820. Inside that folder, create three new folders. The names of the folders should be old RPF, new RPF, and unpacked. Don't worry too much about the folders. We are just trying to keep the files organized. Copy the DLC.RPF you have downloaded to the old RPF folder. You no longer need the downloaded car folder. Close it. Launch the OpenIV application. Click on File, and select Open Folder. Navigate to Desktop. Choose the R820 folder, and click on Select Folder. OpenIV will show you all the three folders you have created. Go to the old RPF folder. Right-click on DLC.RPF, and select Save Content, Export. Choose the Unpacked folder. You can see some new files are created in the unpacked folder. Minimize the OpenIV application, we will need it later. Now this is the main step. Go inside each folder. If you find any RPF file, drag and drop it on the archive fix tool. Let's start with the common folder. No RPF files are found. Next search in the x64 folder. Many language RPF files are found. Drag and drop the file on Archive Fix tool. You need to get a done message. Close it. Repeat this for all the remaining files. Now go back and check other folders. That's it. All the files have been fixed. Time to pack this folder. Go back to the OpenIV you have minimized. 
Navigate to the new RPF folder. Start the edit mode. Right click on empty space, under new, select RPF archive. In the name field, enter DLC, and hit OK. A new DLC.RPF will be created. Drag and drop all the files, from the unpacked folder, to the new DLC.RPF. Close the OpenIV application, you no longer need it. For one last time, you need to drag the new DLC.RPF you have just created, onto the Archive Fix tool. That's it. Your vehicle file is finally ready. You should now place this file inside the 5M DLC folder. Navigate to the location on the screen. Inside the DLC folder, create a new folder, and name it R820. Copy-paste the new DLC.RPF you have created to this folder. You have successfully placed the car files. To make 5M launch your car files during the start of the game, you need to add your folder location, to DLCList.XML. This XML file can be found here. Copy the XML file to this location. Open the XML file with Notepad. At the end of the file, you need to add this line. You can find it in the description below. Replace the vehicle name with the car you have installed. In this case, it is the R820. Save the file and close it. Your add-on car is now successfully installed. Let's launch the game to test it. Once in the game, open any trainer you would like. I'm using the simple trainer. Go to vehicle spawning. In the added vehicles menu, you can find the list of cars installed. or you can go back and spawn using the car name. Type R820 and hit enter on your keyboard. That's it. You can see that the add-on car has been successfully spawned. If you want to add more cars to the game, just repeat the same process. Select a car mod, download it to your desktop, unpack using OpenIV. Fix the RPF files using Archive Fix. Pack them back again using OpenIV. Once again fix the new RPF file. Put that file in the DLC folder of 5M. Add car name to DLC list. And you're good to go. Once you get a grip of it, it takes only a few minutes to add a vehicle to the game. You can also use other trainers to spawn cars. Lambda Trainer is one more popular trainer among the 5M users. Just input the car model name, and it will spawn the car for you. Thank you for watching the video. If this video helped you, hit that like button. You could also leave a comment, to give some feedback about the video. Don't forget to subscribe to GTA Gamer. See you in the next video.